a few conditions in which omission, no, not omission, I highlight not the omission, but the postponement of fast is permissible. As Allah has mentioned in Surah Al-Baqarah, مَنْ كَانَ مِنْكُمْ مَرِيدًا أَوْ عَلَى سَفْرٍ فَعِدَّةٌ مِنْ أَيَّامٍ أُخَرٍ That anyone of you who is sick or who is traveling should complete the count in days other than the month of Ramadan. So the exemption to fast in the days of Ramadan and to postpone the fast of Ramadan, the first condition is illness. And it is maridhan, it is any illness, no specification, no hard and fast conditions and rules. It is just between the person and Allah. If the person feels sick or thinks that he cannot, he cannot fast and he doesn't have the physical or the emotional stamina because of the illness that he cannot fast, then he can go ahead and he is legally permitted to omit this and then complete it at a later in a later month. Our Allah suffering any travel again no specification and no hard and fast rules of travel. These two conditions have been permitted in Quran and then according to the words of Prophet a pregnant lady, a nursing mother and women obviously because they are not in a state of purity while their menstrual cycles or while they are having the, their postpartum bleeding those 30 or 40 days when they are bleeding after their delivery. So in these four conditions also the women will not be fasting. But all these are not omitted. They are, they are what? They are to be postponed. And they will be completed. Completing the count in months other than Ramadan is obligatory. It is an order of Allah. So we cannot, we cannot just leave them alone. They have to be completed after Ramzan and preferably, preferably before the next Ramzan comes and as early as we can. And they should be completed because it is an it is an obligation and it is an order of Quran. But the only exemption is a person who is sick and there are absolutely no chances of his recovery in near future. And he will not be able to fast after Ramadan even. So he is the sole person and this is the sole exemption for the person who can pay what? Fidya to ta'amu miskeen. That he can pay what? He can be asked. He is allowed and it is permitted that instead of a fast, he is permitted to feed a person two meals of a day in replacement of a single fast. It can be in form of cash, it can be in form of kind, it can be in form of a food and it can be to any person who is fasting or who is not even fasting. But if the food of uh, the pre-dawn uh, meal and if the food of the iftar is provided to a person who is fasting, then obviously the reward will be increased because the reward of helping and assisting in the fast will also be rewarded to the person who is assisting.